Good morning. It's Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. Few things to look at on radar this morning. Unsettled weather up here in northwest Georgia. A few thunderstorms up around the Chattanooga area, up around Dalton, starting to stretch across I-75. We also had some light showers developing east of Columbus over uh, Butler and in the Talbotton. That looks like that it's fading out fairly quickly as it moves into some drier air in southeast Georgia. It is warm this morning indeed. I'm <laughs> sure you've had your air conditioning on the last couple of nights and certainly across the state today we are looking at those temperatures in the mid to upper 60s in South Georgia. There are the 70s Northwest Georgia up around uh, Cedartown and Cartersville 70 degrees at the Atlanta airport. So very warm temperatures and again that gives us a sign that a cold front is on the way. Not going to be a very powerful cold front, but still showing that warmer air right ahead of that front. And that's why we have those 70s in parts of the state this morning. As we get going, there are those showers in northwest Georgia. Still going to be hanging out there. The rest of the state just looking at some pop-up showers there. South Metro Atlanta heading toward Columbus. Southeast Georgia, again, relatively dry air. So it's going to be harder to get those storms or, or those showers. Not really a lot of big storms going on today, but those showers to pop up. But we may see some showers showers around the Macon area starting to push in towards Sandersville and over towards Swainsboro and Statesboro. Line of thunderstorms here in northwest Georgia. Severe weather risk is low today, but we're going to watch out for some rumbles of thunder uh, pushing down into the North Metro by four or five o'clock this afternoon. Shower stretching across Lake Lanier and Gainesville, and then by six o'clock heading down into Athens. And this line weakens a good bit as it pushes toward Augusta, mainly going to be running out of daylight as we head toward eight o'clock or so. So we're going to see these showers start to fall apart, but we'll still see some rain there through the overnight hours. Possibly there's what's left of the line right there. Not much going on. Still by tomorrow morning, not a lot happening, but we'll see a little more cloud cover tomorrow and then we'll get some of those showers to redevelop again. That front just kind of stalls out over the middle of the state, so expect some more showers along I-20 heading into Augusta. More rain across the state of Georgia by tomorrow evening. Not showing a lot in southwest Georgia, but the rain chance is there. Just know anywhere in the state could see one of these showers uh, as we head through Friday afternoon and Friday evening. Then Saturday, showers still hanging around there. Again, that frontal system is not pushing very uh, far through the state as we move through uh, Friday and then Saturday by Saturday afternoon. Still looking at a rain chance over Metro Atlanta and just a slight chance of showers anywhere in the state on Saturday, but it will be cloudy. We'll start to clear out a little bit more on Sunday and with that additional sunshine, temperatures warm right back up again. So you'll see on your local forecast a little quick drop on Saturday on the back side of the front and then we climb right back up once again. And speaking of that local forecast, here it is from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.